It is an historic storm that's pounding Southern California right now. Record rain is flooding our streets. Unprecedented snow is still blasting our local mountains. While the storm's powerful punch is being felt all over the region, from the coast to the valleys, the basin, and the mountains, everyone is being impacted by the dangerous deluge. Now, the slow-moving and unusually cold system is slamming the West Coast and prompting rare blizzard warnings in L.A., Ventura, San Diego, and San Bernardino counties. Yeah, millions of people are under a flood warning tonight and facing dangerous conditions if they're out on the roads. We've got live team coverage with crews spread all across the region, but we begin with Kai. He's here in the studio with us tonight monitoring those conditions. Kai? Yeah, thanks very much, Chair Rick. It is an active night here in Southern California. This storm is dangerous, and now we are starting to observe a squall line that is beginning to move through the Santa Monica Bay, and we're going to tell you what that means for you coming up in just a moment. But before we do that, we've got a flash flood warning, and that's taking place through Los Angeles, Ventura, up to Santa Barbara County. These communities more parks, Simi Valley, the San Fernando Valley, all out to the San Gabriel Valley. Looking at the possibility is that there is flooding taking place and there is imminent opportunities for that flooding to cause damage to both property as well as lives. The surrounding communities in terms of going into Orange County and the Inland Empire, where we're taking a look at a flash flood watch and that's going to stay in place through the night tonight all the way in towards your Saturday evening. And once again, this squall line starting to bear down on not only the Santa Monica Bay, but the San Fernando Valley. We're seeing heavy rain through the Santa Monica Mountains right now as we head through the 101 and the 405 split. With Woodland Hills, Tarzana, Encino, Sherman Oaks, North Hollywood, all these valley areas, including Van Nuys, getting some heavy, heavy rainfall. And that squall line extends all the way out towards Rancho Palos Verdes, as well as the South Bay. And in terms of danger, well, we've got a lot of it on the waters right now. We're talking about a high surf advisory, but most importantly, take a look at this marine warning statement. This means that we're seeing extremely dangerous seas and looking at water spouts as well as thunderstorms that are taking place between Catalina Island as well as much of our Southern California Los Angeles County beaches. So dangerous weather out there tonight and a lot more of it on the way, including feet of snow throughout your Friday night into your Saturday. I'm returning shortly. We'll get through that and much more. Back to you. Kai, thank you. Hours of relentless rain is taking a toll on drivers. Streets are flooded and some motorists are getting stuck, trapped inside their cars. Strong winds are toppling trees and hillsides are starting to slide, putting homes in danger. And this record downpour is far from over right now, so if you have to hit the roads, be extra careful. Certainly you want to slow down. Stay home if you actually can. Let's go to Mary Beth McDade. She's live in North Hollywood tonight with a look at the problems caused by all of this rain. MB. Yeah, and, and Rick and Cher, you know that flash flood warning, it was supposed to expire at 10. It's now been extended to at least 10 or 2 a.m. And for, for good reason, because this rain is relentless. It has not stopped. It has been coming down so hard for just so many hours. And then you have the wind just making things even more wicked out here. So, as yes, if you guys were saying it's downright dangerous out here, stay home if you can to stay safe. Record-breaking rainfall is wreaking havoc across L.A. In North Hollywood, the relentless rains are causing flash flooding. Several cars became submerged on Vineland near the Burbank Airport. If we were just driving and then it was like a traffic jam here around and we're just driving and the car stopped. It doesn't work. These two got their cars stuck. We were following the traffic and then everything, everybody just went out and then our car just shut down and we were stuck in there and we were just waiting for a tow truck to come get us out. They had no choice but to flee when the waters kept rising. Yeah, we're just happy that we made it out okay. Their car was one of many tow truck drivers had to rescue in this area throughout the day. Drivers also became trapped on the Five and Sun Valley when water flooded the freeway. Several other streets like this one in Studio City became lakes. And in Woodland Hills, heavy rains caused mud to start flowing down a hillside, threatening homes below. The slope is eroding, and if that slope fails, that road will be unpassable. So that will trap all these houses in the neighborhood. The wicked weather also caused a tree to tumble onto a home in Panorama City. Oh 
My God. And some people in Porter Ranch were surprised to see some hail falling on their property. And yes, and to make matters even uh, more dangerous, there is now a thunderstorm warning for areas like uh, Malibu and several other areas in LA County. So again, if you don't have to be out on this, stay home. I know I wish I was. <laughs> All right, we're gonna send it back to you guys. I'm live here in North Hollywood. I can oh imagine. God. Oh, okay, Mary Beth, get in the truck. Thank you so much. We re really appreciate you reporting out there. And we are hearing reports of trees down all across the San Fernando Valley. Crews are scrambling to respond to areas like Studio City and Canoga Park, where trees are blocking roads and causing power outages. This massive one came crashing down in Burbank, crushing a car. So far, no injuries have been reported, but if there is a tree down in your neighborhood, call 311. And a blizzard warning is in effect for the San Bernardino Mountains right now, where one to two feet of snow is expected. The Cajon Pass is particularly tricky right now with overnight snow and wind making for some dangerous driving conditions out there. Visibility down to extremely low. While the 15 freeway is currently open, State Route 18 was closed earlier today due to treacherous conditions there and some down power lines. The mountain community of Big Bear is getting more snow from this monster storm than it normally receives in an entire year. Oh. More than 100 inches of fresh powder has already fallen in the area, and more is on the way. Yeah, but getting there, that's going to be difficult, if not impossible, and people are being told just to stay away until at least the storm passes. Shelby Nelson is up in Big Bear tonight. She's got the latest. Shelby? Guys, lots of that snow still coming down. A lot of it is wet snow now. We've seen it kind of change from time to time. And then that wind at times will kick it up and just whip it around. Now, before we get to more of the conditions out here, I want to show you what it looks like right behind me. You're not seeing any vehicles through here. It's a ghost town. That's because this is where one of the road closures starts at the intersection of Highway 38 and 18. This is near the Big Bear Dam and then all the way down to Arrow Bear. That's just one of the closures we're seeing in these mountain communities. Plans to come to the mountains, you'll need to reconsider. And it's not just because the signs aren't legible, the roads themselves are impassable. State Route 18 um, closed from Cuffell Canyon to Running Spring. Eric Dion with Caltrans says that was from downed power line. The 3.30 um, and the 18, it shut down this morning. Um, that was deemed by CHP for safety reasons. The visibility at times non-existent. And for visitors who escaped those road closures prior, the road conditions weren't very good then either. We slipped a little bit. What was it like for you? Were you kind of scared? Yeah, but I fell asleep. Elijah Martinez is in town with his family from L.A. He says snow or sunshine, he'll be out snowboarding. We were debating between going to uh, Utah or here, and this was a shorter drive, and we figured if we're going to get somewhere stuck somewhere, at least it's closer to home. Many visitors braving the storm with the first ever blizzard warning issued for the San Bernardino County Mountains. By Friday morning, Snow Summit and Big Bear receiving nearly four feet of snow and Big Bear City roughly two feet. But by the afternoon and evening hours, much more snowfall blanketed everything in its path, knocking over street signs and forcing people to shovel out heaps of snow. Crews were hard at work clearing roads, the storm closing schools in Big Bear and some businesses, while others stayed open. Seeing the road ahead in Wrightwood nearly impossible, with Mount Baldy expected to receive four to five feet of snow. Lake Arrowhead also getting slammed. Four-wheel drive or not, chains are required for local mountain communities. For this family, it was nothing like where they came from. We kind of had a funny story. We were at Mammoth. Um, from Monday until last night, but we were so afraid of getting snowed in, so we drove here <laughs> just in time to catch this fresh snowfall here. Any concerns that you might get snowed in here too? No. No. Yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't <laughs> mind being snowed in here though. And still no word yet on when these roads are expected to reopen. We do know for certain, though, that they won't be reopening anytime overnight.
That's the very latest here in Big Bear. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. All right, Shelby, thanks for that. The grapevine is open at this hour, but of course that could change at a moment's notice. Severe weather, including snow and ice, that's been impacting that busy roadway all day long. And the CHP and Caltrans will be monitoring conditions all night. John Finolio is live near Lebec, in Lebec near the Tahoon Pass. John. Sheriff sure, Rick, the grapevine has been closed all day long, but as you can see, it is back open now. All of this due to treacherous driving conditions. We've been dealing with snow, ice, rain, and wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour out here. CHP has been escorting drivers. They're staggering the drivers as they come over the pass, escorting them through the Tahone Pass tonight. But no matter how you slice it, drivers still face a slow and dangerous trek over this pass. Tonight, CHP is escorting traffic through the Tahoon Pass on Interstate 5. Early Friday, authorities closed a roughly 20-mile stretch of the freeway in both directions due to icy conditions. KTLA crews captured a wide open road along the grapevine north of LA this morning as an army of Caltrans crews plowed the snow and salted the pavement. Daniel Lopez and his friends drove up from Northridge this afternoon to spend the weekend in Fraser Park. We weren't expecting this at all. After getting stuck in traffic backed up for miles, they finally made it to Lebec and decided to pull over to put chains on their tires before heading to higher elevation. With the rain, it kind of got, we got stuck for a little bit and we got really, we started, we started to panic and we were actually gonna get out and start to push the car, but luckily I made it out. Other drivers trying to head north over the pass weren't so lucky and were forced to turn around at Parker Road and Castaic. I'm looking for an alternate route. I just want to go home. I'm stuck, I'm parked right over there. I've been there a little over three hours. By five this evening, the grapevine was back open, but the rain, snow, and temperatures keep falling and it's possible authorities may be forced to close the road again if driving conditions become too treacherous. Just make sure you pack extra for emergencies just in case if you get stuck and make sure you have other people with you so they could help you. All right, that, that winter storm warning remains in effect until at least 4 p.m. Saturday. CHP says they could close the Tahone Pass here again at any moment if the conditions warrant it. They're urging everyone to avoid trying to drive over this pass as much as possible. They say the US 101 is an alternate route. And of course, they say they're going to be monitoring the conditions out here. And as you can see from our live shot right now, it is a real mess. So if you can avoid this area, please do so. For now, reporting live in Lebec, I'm John Finolio, sending it back to you in the studio. Stay safe out there, John. Thank you. The ongoing storm is forcing evacuation warnings to remain in effect throughout parts of Ventura County. Officials say they anticipate severe flooding and debris flows in unstable areas. For those who are hoping to weather the storm, free sandbag supplies are available at many Ventura County fire stations. The evacuation warning will remain in effect until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. when officials will assess the damage and update the warning. Further north, Mammoth Mountain has received two feet of snow in the last 24 hours or so. More is on the way up there as well. The popular resort up in the central Sierras has already surpassed its annual average of 400 inches of snow. That's more than 33 feet of white stuff. This year, no doubt, it's going to be an epic one for all the skiers and snowboarders. But there is a warning for drivers if you're even thinking of heading up to Mammoth over the weekend. Caltrans has shut down parts of Highway 395. That's due to whiteout conditions and vehicle spinouts. The closure is from Gorge Road just north of Bishop to Bridgeport. Officials say as that storm moves through the region, they'll continue to update the website for the very latest on the road conditions.